Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Accelerate Your Performance podcast. I'm your host, Janet Pilcher. Thanks for having a desire to be your best at work and help your organization achieve success. This podcast is all about actions we can take to improve workplace culture and achieve results, and they're all aligned to our nine principles framework. If you hear a little background noise, that's because I'm at the University of West Georgia working with their leadership team, and I'm sitting here in the Student and Campus Center recording this podcast today. So if you hear a little background noise, enjoy it. It's great to be on a college campus. Well, on October 27th and 28th, we held our annual What's Right in Education conference in Pensacola, Florida. I'm grateful to the leaders of our K-12 partner organizations who presented their work. I especially like this conference because our presenters don't position their talks to brag about their districts. Rather, they talk about their goals, aligned actions, their improvements, and their wins. We also have a little fun with each other as well. We had a networking reception on Pensacola Beach on an absolutely beautiful evening. I'm grateful to our presenters and those who attended What's Right in Education. I think we can all agree that at this conference, we see so much that's right about K-12 education. The work and stories from our partner organizations position our profession in the most positive way. I'm so proud of their work. We had an opportunity to give our most prestigious award, the Difference Maker Award. We gave it to three deserving superintendents and executives. Dr. Rena Irwin, CEO of Child Development Centers in Pennsylvania, was one of our recipients. Dr. Mark Belang, Superintendent of Portage Public Schools, Michigan. And Dr. Xavier De La Torre, Superintendent of Isleta Independent School District in El Paso, Texas. They were our Difference Maker Award winners. I'll be hosting each of them on this podcast soon. You don't want to miss these episodes. It's going to be terrific being able to talk with them one-on-one. At the end of day one, everyone wrote down a key takeaway, placed it on a puzzle piece that we connected together and hung on the wall. Puzzle pieces on a piece of paper with words and takeaways. One takeaway that continued to surface with our participants was that it that to be excellent, to be an excellent organization, you need to be intentional. I've reflected on what this means as it aligns to the conference sessions. So I jotted down some points from my observations at the conference. So here they are. Leaders with intention have a clear purpose and are focused. They can consciously, consciously make choices. They use data and evidence to influence them, They talk to people and gain input and insight as well. Leaders with intention value employees' ideas. They listen to people who are on the front line. They don't let challenges hold them back. They aren't afraid to fail, and they know how to fail fast and shift when something isn't working. They are action-oriented in a thoughtful and insightful way. Leaders with intention have a relentless drive to achieve excellence while knowing they can always improve. They are deliberate with good structure, processes, and routines. They know where to invest their time. Leaders with intention are clear on the results they want and know how to measure what matters. They don't overcomplicate their work. They know how to prioritize the actions to take to achieve positive results. Leaders with intention want to hear others' ideas. They feel proud of what what they and their teams achieve. They are emotionally invested in their teams. And at the end of the day, leaders with intention are grateful. I'm so proud of the superintendents and leadership teams for the excellent work they are doing to make a difference in the lives of others. You feed my heart and soul. I'm grateful that we have the opportunity to work with such great leaders and people. I can't wait until next year's What's Right in Education, October 2023. Here's what's so nice to see. about applying the tools and tactics associated with the nine principles framework. The tools and tactics help them become intentional and live with these intentional traits. Over the past eight months, I've spent time writing a new book that focuses on the nine principles framework tools and tactics. It's called Hardwiring Excellence in Education. The book includes descriptions of the tools and stories from our partners like we hear at our conferences. 
I hope this will be a nice compliment to the Accelerate Your Performance podcast. I'm grateful to you today for spending a little time to listen to this episode. Please don't hesitate to connect with us. Reach out to me at J-P-I-L-C-H-E-R at H-C-G dot com or our producer, Mary Stackhouse Consoli, M-S-T-A-C-K-H-O-U-S-E at H-C-G dot com. And as always, I thank you for tuning in to Accelerate Your Performance. I look forward to connecting with you next time as we continue to focus on the nine principles framework.